Hi, I'm Ifis Alaudin. You must be wondering what I am doing, right? Hmm. I am in a dilemma. I need to choose between the donut and the apple. Oh boy, I just love donuts. But the doctor has advised me to control my sugar intake. It's hard for me to make up my mind. But since I have to watch my diet, I have decided to choose the apple. Oh well, bye-bye, Donut. We make a lot of choices every day. Some are quick ones, but others, not so much. You need to give some extra thoughts before you finally make a decision. In today's lesson, we will look into how you can express yourselves when you are making choices and when reaching for decision. Check out the phrases used when making a choice. Let's look at this sample question. You have to decide which subject is your favourite and explain the reason for your choice. Listen to Mona's answer. I would say that history is my most favourite subject because it is very interesting. Learning about famous people, events that took place, their successes and failures can be very meaningful. In her answer, Mona uses the phrase, I would say that to let you know of her decision. I like maths best. This subject is challenging and teaches us problem-solving skills. Or, you can state your choice by simply saying, I like math best, just like how Farah did. What can you say if you have to choose between two items? You have to choose between fried rice and mi curry for lunch. Pick your choice and give a reason why. Let's listen to what Adi has decided. I prefer to have fried rice for lunch because it is my favourite dish and more fulfilling. Hmm, what phrase did Adi use to state his choice? Yes, he used, I prefer. Now, you try yourself at home. Practice using these phrases. I prefer, I choose, I like, I would say that, I have decided.
Oh, look at this one. Oh, no, no, no. I like this one better. Uh, there are too many to choose from. The red one looks beautiful. Mm, I'm going to get this. Am I sure? Uh, have I checked out the green t-shirt? Uh, that might be a better colour for me. Hey, this is indeed nicer. On second thought... Hmm, does this happen to you too? Decided on something then changed your mind about it? Dear Miss Aina, after further consideration, we are sorry to inform you that you have not been selected for this position. Ah, just not my day. Another rejection. I seriously need to de-stress today. I'm going to do some shopping. Hey, Aina, what a nice surprise. Didn't expect to bump into you here. Where are you going? Hi, Sally. It's been a long time since we last met, right? I want to get a new lipstick. I'm tired of my old shades. Oh, really? Let's go together. I'd like to get a new one too. Then we can help each other choose the colours. It'll be fun. That's a good idea. Let's go. I like this colour in berry. Do you know which one do you prefer? Yeah, I think I'm buying this shade, Little Twinkle. It's pinkish and I like it. Are you sure about that? Why don't you try Sunshine again? That shade looks better on you. You're right, Sally. I've changed my mind. I will get Sunshine. I'm hungry. Let's go have lunch. Can I help your order? I would like curry me and ice lemon tea, please. I'll have spaghetti bolognese and ice lemon tea. Um, sorry. On second thought, I would like to have fried kway teow. Please cancel the curry me. Thank you. What do we do next? How about if we go watch Eat? I hear it's the most popular movie this week. Okay. I don't mind, but, uh, hold on a minute. Is that the one with the clown in it? Yes, that's the one. Why? I'm not sure what I was thinking when I agreed to that. I'm scared of clowns. Oh, okay, that's all right. We'll go and check out what other movies they have today. Did you notice how many times Aina and Sally changed their minds? How did you know they were doing that? How did they say it? Let's find out together. Dear Miss Aina, after further consideration, we are sorry to inform you that you have not been selected for this position. You're right, Sally. I've changed my mind. I will get sunshine. Um, sorry. On second thought, I would like to have fried kway teow. Please cancel the curry me. Thank you. Okay. I don't mind. But, uh... Hold on a minute. Is that the one with the clown in it? I'm not sure what I was thinking when I agreed to that. I'm scared of clowns. Let's discuss the functions of the phrases used in the video so that you can understand how to use them better. After further consideration, this is more formally used to say that you have given additional thought to the situation and have changed your mind. 
I've changed my mind. Oh well, obviously, this is the simplest way for you to inform someone that you've changed your mind. On second thought, when you believe that your final opinion or decision is better, you can use this phrase, on second thought. Hold on a minute. You can use this expression when you need to inform someone that you are actually considering what you have decided before. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I... When you realise that your previous decision or opinion was not logical, use this phrase. Just like in the video, I'm not sure what I was thinking when I, I agreed to that. I'm scared of clowns. I hope my explanation has been helpful to you. However, there's one part in the video where Shelly tried to persuade Aina to change her mind. Do you remember which one? What did she say? Yes. Are you sure about that? Why don't you try sunshine again? This shows that Sally disagreed with Aina's choice. So, she tried to get Aina to agree with her opinion that sunshine was a better choice. Next, Here's the list of phrases that can be used in the process of changing one's mind. You can copy them down for easier reference. Are you sure about that? Do you really think that? I've changed my mind. I'm sure it's better because actually I think you are right. On second thought, yes, that's a good point. I hadn't thought of that. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I... Okay then, yes, I agree with you. And here is a list of phrases you can use when you are making a decision or have finally made your choices. I prefer... I choose, I like, I would say that, I have decided. Right, let's make a decision. I'm trying to make up my mind. So, we do agree that is the best one. In the end, I or we think because. Now, let's watch the next video. What are you doing, Nina? I'm baking a cake for Aina. It's her birthday tomorrow. Wow, that sounds wonderful. Have you decided what flavor? I'm still trying to make up my mind among these three. Chocolate, cheese, or carrot cake? Hmm, I think I'll go with the chocolate cake. 
but she hates chocolate. So I don't think that's a good idea. Actually, I think you are right. She is not fond of chocolate at all. Aha! I remember it now. She did say that she loved the red velvet cupcakes I baked on Teacher's Day. Yes, and cheese. Perhaps you can bake a red velvet cake with cream cheese topping too. Oh, that's a good idea. I agree with you. Red velvet cake with cream cheese topping it is. Teacher wants us to choose a type of transport to use on a long journey. I would choose to ride a train on a long journey. What about you? I prefer to travel by flight. It is faster and it surely saves our time. But it is expensive to fly. Then we have to be ready two hours earlier at the airport and it is not included the travel time yet. It's too long and tiring too. Yeah, that's a good point. I haven't thought of that. So, do we agree to choose the train? Why the train? Why can't we choose the car instead? We can stop along the way and get to stretch if we feel bored and tired. That will only add more time for the journey. I prefer if we can reach the destination as soon as possible. What can we do on the train? Firstly, we can sleep and rest during the long journey. If we feel restless, we can walk around the coaches and have our meals at the cafe. Along the journey, we can look out the window and enjoy the view. This we can do while enjoying our movies online and play games too. Or we can read a novel if we wish. You're right. Let's make a decision. So, do we agree that taking the train is the best transport for a long journey? Yes, I agree. See, at times you need to make a decision alone. At other times, you have to discuss, agree and sometimes disagree before a decision could be reached. This is all part and parcel of life. Don't worry too much about it. What's important now is that you are able to use the language to express yourself fluently. To say about things that you care about by giving and justifying your options. And that can only happen if you practice, practice, and practice. So, let's do a few more tasks before we wrap up our lesson today. Let's start with a simple one. Task 1. If you are asked, would you prefer to have pizza or chocolate cake? What would you choose and why? 
Look at the sample answer. I would prefer to eat pizza because I can choose my favourite toppings like pepperoni and lots of cheese. Task number two. This is interesting. Would you rather live without a TV or without a phone? Why? The simple answer I would rather live without a TV than without a phone. I can do many things with a phone. Call my friends, play games, keep up with the latest news, and even watch movies. This is why I can live without a TV. For the next task, you will try it on your own at home and you will be needing a partner to help do this with you. So get a friend or your brother or anyone near to help. Before you start, share the list of phrases you have learned with your partner. The both of you can use them during the conversation. Let's find out what you need to do. Task 3. Imagine that the council wants to improve the public facilities at your residential area. Talk together with your partner about why these facilities are important for the residents. The choices of the facilities are Bank Post Office LRT Station Hospital Swimming Pool Police Station and Park then, you both decide which facility would be best. Good luck and have fun. Bye-bye.